Hello friends, my name's Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Underground 2. Good news, I have some new thumbnails again. By the time you see it, you, you know, it won't matter. But still, I've got thumbnails again, so that's good. <laughs> In case you're wondering, this will be made... Uh, all the traffic's stopped for some reason. Okay, well, the traffic's messed up. Anyway, in case you're wondering, the thumbnails are made like 10 at a time, so yeah. Anyway, I've just got to check our clicks record because I'm forgetful. Uh, yes, I did. Excellent. <laughs> I do apologise. Right. Anyway, we've had a big accident with a traffic car. Uh, so today, we're just going to do some more racing again. In the last episode, we... Um, yeah, we did quite a lot of races. We did the sponsored ones. We actually got 10 grand now. I'm about to say, is the traffic not moving at all? That happened to me once on... Uh, I think it was the crew. It was a common glitch on the crew. Uh, basically, the traffic would just stop <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, which was always fun. It got sort of a Colosseum style build. No, well, it's not Colosseum. It's an observatory, isn't it? I have no idea. I think it is. You heard to all those out there reading in sprint, you know the drill. Bank equals SMS route, so don't delay and commit. Commit what? Genocide? I've got a Toyota Celica, I guess that's possible. <laughs> okay, and oh, there's nothing actually that. I mean, that focus looks stupid, sure. If you saw that on the road, you'd think, wow, that looks stupid, but I mean, this is Need for Speed Underground, so it doesn't look that bad. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit more because I'm, st I'm still not sure on the audio quality thing, so you know. Oh, God. Well, that went well. Um, there's a 240 SX there as well. Uh, <laughs> pretty much everyone that played Need for Speed Underground, like, on YouTube, has chosen the 240 SX. That's why I didn't. I chose the Peugeot. The Peugeot life didn't choose me. It's just me trying to be different. <laughs> you know, you don't choose the Peugeot life. It affects, like, one in every, well never YouTube channels, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, I guess it looked, to be fair, um, as far as, you know, implementation video games go, I think I've just absolutely killed that 240. That's good. That, to be fair, I hate that model of car, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Sylvias. I mean, okay, that was pretty cool. We jumped over a car. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about the Sylvias. Gotta be honest, uh, I'm really not a huge fan of those cars. Um, you know, I just don't like the look of them, and to be honest with you, it's like, um, you know, I guess, you know, for those of you who've watched my channel for any length of time will know, I'm not sort of a huge Japanese car nut, I, I just really don't subscribe to any form of car culture, really, you know, I'm not a big fan of American cars or imports of uh, European cars, you know, I like what I like, you know, for example, I like the Nissan Skyline, but I'm not a JDM freak, I like the Corvette ZR1 and the Dodge Viper, but I'm not an American car guy, because for this, you know, for the amount of JDM cars I like and American cars I like, there's going to be a load of them which I hate, like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of early Corvettes, the C3 Corvette, I really don't like that car. Uh, what's some other... I don't know. There's a huge guitar solo going on in the background. That's thrown me off. It, damn, this game had some cool music. Hopefully, I my absolute dreaded fear for 2015 Need for Speed is it's just going to be full of dubstep. I, I just have this gnawing sensation it'll just be full of dubstep and... God, what's all the crap people like? House music. Uh, I hope it's not. Because the last Need for Speed game which actually had a memorable soundtrack was Most Wanted. Uh, I really don't want to change gear, but I probably should have. But either way, we win the race, so that's fine. Uh, Salika, 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 Salika. The Salika's are doing well. It's going to be sad to see the back of this car, but, you know. It's got to be done, I'm afraid. God, the original Xbox controller was a mammoth. <laughs> I'm playing this on a 360 controller, I'm just looking down at it, and it's... Ooh, uh, car, audio, and electronics. Now, I've actually um, figured this out as well while I was reading random crap on the internet. I actually worked out that our sort of 
Karkovas is actually, uh, some of it is actually uh, from the races we win. And I can't remember, I think it's magazine covers is from the races you win, and DVD covers are from the amount of style points you have, I assume. I was going to go that way down the mountain, wasn't I? Yeah, we'll go do the photo shoot in a bit. Yeah, I just haven't really got the patience to go do it yet. Sort of my big priority at the moment is scooping as much money as possible uh, in order to get us a car. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not to get us a car, sorry. To pay for, you know, all the upgrading we have to do. Oh, down the mountain we go. I'm smashing into every wall. Yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> We've actually unlocked tire upgrades now. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't actually checked the performance shop. We probably have. It, it really wouldn't surprise me. At least I hope so. Because yeah. <laughs> I ranted about it a couple of times. I'm not too sure either. But I swear when I started, you know, sort of looking around for the shops, I was was on like 25% of uh, excuse me car parts unlocked. But now I'm at like some ridiculous percentage. What am I at? 43%. You know, I swear before I was only like 25%, but uh, yeah, we've almost got half the parts unlocked, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure what it means by 100%. I, you know, I don't know if that means finish every race, because, you know, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to finish every event, um, but I mean, I don't know. How far are we actually? 16%, so that's not bad. We're going up like a percent every episode. <laughs> oh god, that means this will be a 100 episode Let's Play. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I like this game. I don't know if I could play it for 100 episodes. Oh, 3000 GT. We will be getting that car. Do not worry, friends. As soon as that thing is available, I will be buying that car. And it will not look that stupid. Uh, what we got in this race? An Eclipse uh, and some Tribunes. Oh, sorry. Uh, some Eclipses and a Tribune. Uh, I think that's what the... Is, I don't know. We call them high on by coops over here. Um, apparently they're decent cars. Uh, I would never have one. I think my dad was going to get one at one point. Um, I remember going to a showroom and sitting in one. Uh, it's a pretty cool car. A bit cooler than the... Was it? I can't even remember what we had at the time. It was like a Fiat Punto or something. Anyway. Um, speed round the corners. Speed, speed, speed. Gear, gear, gear. Change, change, change. That is the rule of the Street X race. Well, which actually the Tribune is uh, on one. So I don't get it. Eclipses are they four wheel? I know some of them are four wheel drive, but some of them front wheel drive as well. I don't know what the one in this game is. That confuses me. Because it's like you see them in the Fast and Furious films, and you're like, oh my god, you know, the first the first car Brian had that Eclipse was like super cool and stuff. Yet the car in real life, by the looks of it, is not particularly good. <laughs> From what I can gather, a lot of people didn't like the second gen. I like the second generation model, but uh, I gathered a lot, a lot of people did because it was front wheel drive. Um, but I mean, yeah, mix of Ishi. I mean, the Evo is really their only notable sports car. I love the 3000 GT. You guys know I like that 3000 GT, but at the same time... Yeah, you know, not a lot of people really remember that car, to be fair, I forget it quite a lot. And the reason for that is it just, you know, I think a lot of people, I'm not sure if this is true or whether they're just, you know, Skyline and super fanboys. But I swear I've seen somewhere, the 3000 GT was a fantastic car, but the problem with it is it weighed about £400 more than it should have done. Which meant it almost had a heavy feel to it, so, I mean, I don't know. I'd have a 3000 GT in real life, though. As I've said before, it's probably my favourite JDM. That Golf does look cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> we may get a Golf at some point, just to make it look like that. Just because it looks sick. Uh, still no URL race unlocked. God damn it. Uh, we're not doing that drag race. Uh, that's uh, I'll check out the circuit race. I bet it'll take way too long. Though. I usually just avoid circuit races just because they take forever and they're pointless. <laughs> you know, they pay the same money as anything else. Ooh, secret sprint race. No. 
that's too long for me. <laughs> there's a body sh Yeah, there you go. There's the two shops on this island. In oh, sorry, this part of the game, in case you're interested. They're both in, like, the same complex, so that's pretty uh, convenient. They should have really had, like, some up in the hills, like, some super secret Fast and Furious um, tuners or something. Uh, what is this circuit race? Um, no, that's a ridiculous length as well. Okay, we'll avoid the things that are ridiculous length. Uh, we've got a drift event and a sprint event down there. So we'll go do some races down there. Um, oh god. Was it me or was that thing charging me? Like, a ridiculous amount. <laughs> yeah, I assume the AI in this game has no brains. But then again, with my driving at the moment, it is absolutely atrocious. I am so sorry, guys. It is. I'm quite tired. I'm not going to lie. I've spent all day trying to record a voiceover for the bloody Top Gear laps. <laughs> I, I just like, I would literally start wrapping up on recording and then all of a sudden something would happen, uh, which means I have to cancel the recording. And on the Top Gear laps, uh, at least in my opinion, I think the best way to do it is just one take, unless it sounds disjointed and I have to speak really fast for the Top Gear laps as well. So, yeah, not fun. Speed, speed, speed. <laughs> That's how nitrous works, yo. Don't use it while you're changing gear because it's pointless. I love how, like, nitrous in Need for Speed has, like, always been, like, the super awesome mega button where you go, like, ridiculously quick and all that. Yeah, if you actually, like, look at nitrous in real life, it's kind of actually Fast and Furious made Nitrous look like awesome as well. If you actually look at it in real life, like in uh, Gran Turismo 4, uh, I'm actually real life. Yeah, real life and in some video games. There you go, that's what I should have said. GT4 is not realistic. Well, I don't know. It was, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that game was released 11 years ago and it's still more fun than uh, any modern Gran Turismo, but I digress probably more realistic too. Again, I digress. But, um... The... Sort of, you know, the effect Nitrous has in games like The Crew and Gran Turismo and whatnot, that's more in line with its sort of real-life effect, whereas Need for Speed gives it the thing of, like, ULTIMATE SPEED! <laughs> and it just doesn't... Nitrous doesn't do that, kid. Seriously, if you install that to your real-life voxel course, believe me, you will not go that much faster. Although, to be fair, it almost certainly would help. Uh, this series is just dedicated to offending people who bought voxel courses. I, I, I quite like the idea of that. Maybe I should have a YouTube series just dedicated to that. Hmm. I've always felt I should like really start a series where I just rant and rant and rant about people's buying choices. I reckon that could make for an interesting uh, video series. The only point is, you know, what to film in the background of that, so I don't know. Yeah. You know, I've spoke about it before. I quite like Jalponic's uh, What Car Should You Buy thing. I'd kind of like to do like a show like that with a couple of friends. Uh, I think we're going to heavily lose that race after that. Change gear. <laughs> I, uh, In case you're wondering, I'm seriously not used to changing gear in Need for Speed. That's why I'm a bit slow on it. It's just because I really am not used to doing this. It, when I used to play Underground, that guy got German symbol on his arm. I think he might have. Germany symbol, even. Anyway, uh, when I used to play Need for Speed, I used to use automatic. I've only actually started using manual transmission in games since, like, uh, I think I started in the original Horizon. Um, by started in the original Horizon, I mean I played that game over again just to learn manual. It was only like last year, I think, I started learning to use a uh, manual. Before that, I was automatic. And manual used to like confuddle me for some reason. I was just like, you change gear while you're driving? Like, really? That's, that, that's a thing? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't mean that in real life, of course. I mean that as in like, I, I don't know how you could do that in a video game when you're concentrating on, you know, racing and various other things. But, you know. I figured it out. Clutch and stuff, that really befuddles me. I'm going to try and learn that, actually. Uh, maybe that should be a video at some point. The real Emil learns clutch. That could be, you know, <laughs> problematic. 
Uh, but yeah, clutch in Forza, I still don't quite get how you do that comfortably. I do want to learn it before Forza 6, though. Uh, that's something I do want to do. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's a potential uh, series thing on the horizon. Get it? Horizon? Because we'll probably play Horizon 2 or Forza 5 or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The best way I find, in case you're like, you know, getting into your racing games and you want to find out how to, you know, get used to manual and clutch and stuff, what I seriously recommend doing is actually just starting a brand new game. Uh, so, you know, say like I did. Basically, what I actually did to learn manual was I just played through Forza Horizon again, but I chose manual from the get-go, and that's actually really good because at the start of those games, you actually have sort of slower cars which means you can get really used to sort of you know shifting and shifting and shifting I'm pressing the B button I don't know if that's actually that might actually be handbrake in this game in fact it is yeah I should stop doing that anyway so you're changing and changing and changing and changing in these slower cars so that eventually once you get to the sort of fast cars you get more used to it uh, so that's how I would sort of recommend doing that uh, in case you are, you know, wanting to learn manual. It is a useful skill to learn. I believe it's actually a bit quicker in most games. In this game, I doubt it. I think I'm just sort of handicapping myself by doing manual. But uh, there you go. We're on 16 minutes. We've got time for another race, I reckon. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. Uh, still no URL. Uh, the latest dope wheel designs. Yes. I, I don't want any dope on my car, thank you. Um, URL, where are you? <laughs> I don't know. Do I really want to do another Street X? I mean, it's there. We may as well do it. No, I'm, I apologise. I assume everyone's getting bored of Street X. But, you know, we got to keep doing it, though. We, we, we just got to keep doing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll do this URL race, and then in the next episode, we will go ahead and do some more races. We should be getting close to unlocking another uh, underground racing league thing, surely. <laughs> or at least I hope so, because, uh, you know. To be fair, I, I'm not too sure on this, but I think I have a sneaking suspicion that if you actually did, like, most of the races in the first part of the game without entering any underground racing league uh, events, I'm pretty sure you could, like, unlock three all at once and just do them all at once instead of, you know, going through drift racing. I know how to drift. <laughs> I've got a Toyota Sleeker which has front-wheel drive because I know how to drift. Front wheel People who uh, have front-wheel drive cars know how to oversteer, you know. Somewhat. I like drinking out of cans. It's good. It's good stuff. Toyota Supra, there's a very silly looking Golf, and there's a 206 with bronze wheels, okay. Well, at least we know we're versing a class of, um, how do we say, disadvantaged people. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, that Peugeot looks stupid. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. Isn't that like a fan WWE at the moment? They keep screaming at Shameless, you look stupid. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand WWE, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, things happen. <laughs> the Undertaker's back. Why do I care? Of course, actually, by the time you... In America, it's really strange. You know, I'm, I don't watch it religiously or whatnot when it's on. And when people are watching it, I'll quite happily watch it. Uh, but, yeah, I don't go out my way to watch it. But, saying that, you guys in America get, like, Monday Night Raw. Bear in mind, our, like, sort of uh, coverage of it, we get uh, two programs on, on a Sunday on Sky One here in the UK. They're on Sundays. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I just seriously don't why it's on, on, you know, Monday. Yeah. Surely it'd make more sense to have that show on, like, a Tuesday or even a Saturday would make more sense but you know I digress I like how like the the uh, spoiler on the back of that super is like a uh, devil's horns or something uh, we've just smashed into that that was not a smart idea 
I like how that super also managed to wipe out. And we're currently, you know, probably going to lose to him because reasons of game balance. Game balance is still great in this game. If we're going to pass him, we really need to start looking at it now. I don't know why I banned you from Nitrous in this event either. Aha! Give him a bit of a bump. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a bit of a hair-raising event there. God. <laughs> at least we're getting our money's worth out of this car. Sponsorships. Look at all the sponsors on those cars. I think they're both Sentras, aren't they? Hmm. The Sentra. I don't know. I kind of like the Sentra. <laughs> I don't know why. We don't get them in the UK. We got Serenas. Seriously, go look out Nissan Serena. It'll, it'll make you laugh. <gasps> we can paint our brake calibers. And we've got URL race. Absolutely fantabulous. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be doing that URL race. And we'll be picking up a new car. So, anyway, until next time, fear a wheel. Farewell. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs>